audio. My name is Tanya Big Mountain. I'm an instructor here in the Precision Machining Technology Program. The Precision Machining Technology Program is a two-year AAS degree program. We also have one-year short-term certificates available in solid modeling, basic machining, and introduction to CNC. Precision machining is taking a blueprint or a drawing or a solid model and turning it into a part using precision machines like mills, drills, grinders, and lathes. It can become part of a bigger assembly or just be a part on its own. My name is Eli Johnston and I'm a student here in the Precision Machining Technology Program. I started traveling back to the Tri-Cities here and helping my stepdad who's built his own home machine shop. It was a project designing a vehicle for a quadriplegic athlete who wanted to summit Mount Adams under his own power that led me to spend five weeks solid in my stepdad's shop with him and I realized this was something I really wanted to pursue more. I chose CBC and this program here because I wanted to move back to this area. I saw the facility, I realized this is a really great opportunity and uh, yeah, certainly more affordable than in bigger urban areas. I think what I like best about the program is that it starts you with the basics. We start out working with our hands and small power tools and then working on up through the machines, getting to know each one of them along the way. So it's a very foundational approach where you understand what these big fancy robots are doing because you've done every piece of it yourself along the way. My name is Bob Cannon and I'm the owner of Cannon Machine Products in Kennewick, Washington. I graduated from Columbia Basin College in the Machine Technology Program. Machining is involved in everything that we do. Here at Cannon Machine, we make a lot of different things for different customers. Tractors, farm equipment, you know, food processing, you know, medical instruments that people are using in surgery. All these things are things that machining is involved in. Some of the misconceptions are that a lot of the shops are dark and dirty and dangerous. We've really come a long way since the past industry has grown into high-tech, precision, clean work environments with the technology has been upgraded. There are still manual machines, but they are in a lot safer, cleaner, brighter environment. I don't think you're ever going to be lacking a job. Pretty much wherever you want to go, there's a job out there. The typical wages that you're going to see in shops is probably going to be anywhere from $20 to $35 an hour. The demand for machinists is high. There's a lot of older guys, you know, like myself, I'm getting to that age where we're getting out of it, and there's not younger people coming into it. I like to encourage young people to come in, you know, see what this is about. CBC is affordable as a community college. We have instructors with many years of experience. We have a variety of machines that get you ready to work in an, a lot of different shops. Well, I do currently have a job in the machining industry and it's thanks to this program that I was introduced to it and was able to start working part-time while still a student and my role has quickly grown from doing 3D modeling and computer-based just CAD stuff now operating CNC equipment, uh, training a lot of my coworkers, overseeing project management, like it's escalated quickly and the program has been wonderfully flexible in allowing me to begin that career and grow that job while still finishing the degree and getting the best of both worlds. Anyone interested in hands-on skills, working with their hands, male, female, it doesn't matter as long as you, you know, have that desire to work with the computer programs and the machines and the ambition to find a career that works for you, I'd say to give it a shot.